Welcome back. This is Trent Maxwell with WGC Fits. This is Sam Hardesty. We're going to do some wedge fitting today. So I'm going to have you watch. I'm going to watch you hit a few with your wedge. Just hit some shots out there. Do you really need new wedges? <laughs> I mean, this one I've always jived with. You always jived with this yeah, one, okay? Yeah. But I can't press on it. Like, okay. And this is your wedge from high school, correct? <laughs> from my, yeah, okay. this is uh, quite old. But it's pink. But it's pink, I know. I had them custom shafted for that. Nice. <laughs> but that's pretty much, I mean, I, can, I can't really go hard with this club because okay. it's a lady shaft. Got it. So the furthest this thing goes is, I think, 80 yards, but that's with the roll. Okay. So. Well, I'm not worried about distance here. Cool. This is my little torture board. <laughs> Just kidding. So I also got a sticker on my hand. I'm going to put it on, oh, the, that's what you're on your club. <laughs> Perfect. So what this sticker tells me is it's going to tell me how you use the bounce of the golf club. Cool. Okay. And it's also going to tell me about lie angle. So wedges are very, very important to get fitted for. Mm -hmm. And most people don't get fitted for wedges. But it might be the most important thing because it's your scoring clubs. Yeah. So I'm going to have you hit the same type of shot you're just hitting, okay. but I don't want it to be full. Got so it. if okay. you hit this full, like you said, 70, 80 yards, I want you to hit about 40 yards. Got it. Okay. That's going to engage the bounce a little bit more. That weird. That's okay. <laughs> so we're going to lick the bottom of it. So what, what happens is because you're more of a digger, mm -hmm. I bet, you probably take pretty big divots. Depending on the day, yeah. <laughs> and why this wedge seems to work is because it's got such a wide sole, but it's also got a lot of bounce to it. Mm -hmm. So as you go more towards that front, you're more of a digger. Got it. If I was more of a slider, like that. Shoot, I didn't even hit the board. <laughs> got it. So neutral will then just be in the middle. So if I. Got it. Okay. Makes sense? Yeah, it does. So that's how you kind of figure out different grinds or different bounces for players. So everyone's a little bit different. That's why they make a low bounce, a standard, well, Ping actually calls it a, a, a thin sole or a torso, sole, a standard or a wide sole. So you're more wide sole only because you take, you tend to be more of a digger. Got it. Okay. So oh, interesting. Cool. I've put together a wedge for you that a ping wedge for you that we're going to actually try. So Sam, when she got fitted for irons, she got fitted for ping irons. So figured you tried some different things. The ping irons worked. Let's see how the wedges work. Cool. So we're going to hit that same type of shot. Still at the like 40 yards? At 40 yards. Again, because it's going to engage the bounce a little bit more. It was a little farther than little 40 far yards. <laughs> yeah, was a little further than that. That's okay. That's all right. <laughs> but it felt good. If that counts for anything. So now we're kind back. of, we're, we're more in the middle. Yeah. And it's th this wedge is actually a little bit more upright than I'd want to see it. But uh, the main reason I wanted to see was for, for the wide sole nature or the higher bounce nature. Hmm. So I'm going to have you hit some full shots with this without the board. Okay. And knowing that I think we're now good on yeah. the bounce, I just need to change the lie angle because it's a little bit too upright. Got it. So if a wedge is too upright, what's going to happen is when you hit shorter shots or pitch shots, it's going to end up left of target. Ah, uh, okay. So we don't want that. No. So let's have you hit, let's have you hit a few shots just with this, without the board, without our sticker. So now we got a slightly stiffer shaft in here. Yes. Than your, than your high school wedge. Yeah. Now you should be able to go after it kind of however you want. Okay. So now we got a good grind in there for you. It will tend to go a little left on you, again, because of that upright nature. Got it, okay. So I'm not too worried about that part. So I believe when they did your wet or when they did your irons, they they fit you through the U wedge, which is kind of the gap wedge. Mm -hmm. So we we'll probably need to get a couple of 
either a, probably a 54 and a 58. Okay. Would probably make the most sense. Cool. Why? Because our U edge is a 49 and a half, 50 degrees. Mm -hmm. So I like to keep it between four and six degree increments. Got it. So that gives you a few different options, especially as far as you hit the golf ball, giving you some wedges is going to help. Cool. So a couple more here. How's this feel? Feels really good. It feels like I can actually take on a full swing and not be nervous that it's going to go one way or another. Good. Um, I feel like I can be in control of it, I guess. Well, that's good. So, yeah. That's what we're shooting for. Nice and high. Higher than I've ever hit, so that's good. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to switch heads again. We're going to use that same shaft. Perfect. So I picked this graphite shaft mainly because, again, you're fitting the graphite regular. I could probably go in the lightweight steel if I wanted, or if you wanted, or we could go in the graphite shaft. What are the pros and cons or the differences between the two? Good question. Uh, we can, it's something with wedge fitting, we can definitely evaluate. So we, I can have you hit both. The biggest pros and cons would be because it, because your iron set is lighter, mm -hmm. I don't want, the wedges are generally heavier anyway. So I'd probably like to stay on the, the lighter side, probably in graphite. Got it. Okay. Uh, but you do want to have some weight to them. So you don't want them to be so light that you can't feel anything. Right. Because I do want you to have some control. We want to have Got control it. when we're trying to hit this shot. Perfect. So this is a 58. Okay. And this is also a wide sole. So hit a, a couple full shots with this. Oh, man. That's pretty good. Have, have you hit a few? <laughs> uh, we're going to turn here into an all-star. I've never had height in my life. You should. Did you actually see the mm -hmm. my? I, I watched it. Yes. Yeah. It's. I've never gone further than like eye level. <laughs> like. Yeah. So these are like. These are like wow. These are like I'm, I. I'm hitting these nice, even if they they're bad. I don't know that. <laughs> no, they're they're great. Yeah. I, I think. Thanks. I mean, even that one, you gotta go. Gotta. Yeah, I was with just it. gonna say, like, even that one, I. I could even tell that I hit it but that's not where, fast, but. That's where having that bounce is yeah. gonna save you. Right. That, that shot would have been, you stuck it in the ground and it yes. wouldn't have done anything. Yeah, yeah. So now you're, because of the sole of this, it's going to, it's gonna help you. Great. That was neat. So now I want you to do something a little bit different. Before okay. I switch shafts, yeah. I want you to try to hit a few just to the end of this tee box. Got so it. just okay. kind of little pitch shots okay. and see how this one is. So this lie angle on this 58 is flatter than that 54 is. So now we shouldn't get that left movement as much. Got it, okay. Oh. Sorry. I, I could... Oops. It's okay. Kind of close. A little quick on that one. <laughs> just trust the golf club. Got it. It's not going to dig on you. There we go. That was that was perfect. Yeah, thank you. So what do you shabby. think? I like it. I feel like I can control. Like I can feel the difference between them. Good. Um, so now, <laughs> so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take. The graphite out. I think the graphite's a great option, but yeah. let's let's experiment a little bit. Let's yeah. put the steel shaft in so that you can at least feel a couple shots and see what happens. Perfect. It's kind of a lightweight steel, so it's not too heavy. Yeah. But it will feel different than what's certainly in your wedge. Or in the wedge you just hit. Yeah. Again, sh shafts and Shafts and bounce, just wedge fitting in general is so underrated. People just, ah, eh, you know, I'll just, I'll take these wedges. Right. Or I'll walk into a store, I need a 56 degree sandwich. Got it. But how do you know what you need? What you need. <laughs> I can already tell the huge difference between my high school pink wedge and what we just hit. It's, I feel like, I mean, I keep saying this, but like I can control the distance. I know what I hit and where it's going to go versus with the pink one. I, well, that, and it's so flexible. Mm -hmm. um, that I feel like there's only like two distances I can do with that <laughs> <Right>? one. <laughs> well, and when you have a wedge in your hands, you want to have the control. 
That's yes, that's yeah. the most important. I mean, again, aside from putting, it's the most important shot you can hit. For sure. So if you don't have distance control with this golf club, there's going to be some issues. Yeah. <laughs> You want me to hit them like regular? Just, range. yeah, just hit them. Just, <laughs> I want you to just hit kind of a different variety of shots. Cool. Okay. Here, just so you can kind of feel the difference in weight as opposed to just one stock shot that you're probably not going to feel as much. Yeah. So I definitely hit, feel more of a weight, but I still like I can press into it, which yeah. I can't do with my. No. <laughs> no. no. Like what I just shot, I could not have done that. Correct. That's just such a light, easy swing, and I'm not, I don't feel like I have to try. Good. Yeah. This is a 58. A 58 wide sole. So when, when testing out shafts, especially in wedges, yeah. it's good to hit some variety of different shots just so that you can kind of see mm -hmm. if it's, you know, if, if you press on one, what's going to happen? Right. If you try to hit it soft, what's going to happen? You don't want it too heavy so that it becomes yeah. labor intensive to hit a short shot. Right. But you don't want to have it so light that if you're trying to hit that short shot, you have no idea where the golf club is. Yes, fair. So that's, I'll try to hit that's this. the importance of it. I'll try to hit this one at the end. Oh, bananas. Not quite It's that. okay. We're allowed to have miss. <laughs> we, we can't miss it. I, I'm surprised I haven't had more misses than, than I'm used to, I guess. So it's good. So to have one kind of after today. That's cute. Okay, let me put it back. <laughs> let me put the graphite back in. All right. Let's go back, right back into that same shot we just hit. Okay. Because that shot, especially for a 58, is going to be so, so important. Yeah. So again, we're going to go back into this shorter shot. With the graphite again, just to see, just to see the feels. Any thoughts on differences? Yeah, I mean, one is obviously like the weight of it. It's not too drastic, um, but it's enough you can feel it. Okay. I think in the beginning, when I was using the steel shaft, I noticed it was a little bit more, um, like you could just feel the weight more in your swing. Mm -hmm. um, Do you like that or not like that? That's what I think I'm trying to figure out because I've never had clubs where they were heavy in a sense like mm -hmm. that I could lean on, that I could really push and try to mm -hmm. hit hard. Because if I tried to dig in on my other clubs, my past shafts, it would screw up the shot because it's not strong enough for that swing. Mm -hmm. um, so the fact to have a shaft that could be strong enough for that swing, it's kind of like, it's interesting, I suppose. I, mean, I just, I'm not used to right. being able to do that. Yeah. Sure. So do you want me to keep hitting to the Yeah, hit, end? hit just a couple more. Okay. Try to lean on one or two and... I'm just not used to it going so tall, so like my depth perception, I feel like is off. <laughs> right. <makes> sense. <laughs> Do you like that height? I think so, I, but I feel like if it was a little bit lower, I could go a little bit further. But then I feel like with wedges, I don't know if it's necessarily about distance, it's more about the feel. It's gonna be more about feel and yeah. control. If I need to hit it further, I probably just need to switch golf clubs. And I guess I'm <laughs> totally fair. I've never, I've never been able. To, Correct. I've never had that. Correct. Know, that Absolutely. I mean, so you had. Yeah. We, we didn't talk about this, but we had. You had a pitching wedge, and you had your sand wedge. Yes. And for someone who hits it as far as you do, that uh, that's not a whole lot of options. Yeah. <laughs> right. So now we're going to have you 
have some have some options in your bag so you can now you can just switch clubs yeah yeah they should all kind of that's fair mix yeah. i feel like just that's just like a casual full like not pressing swing we're gonna go back to the steel okay and just for fun i went on the opposite side instead of doing that wider sole mm -hmm. for a digger now i got a thin sole on here for someone that's more of a sweeper okay so let's see what happens here Lop. <laughs> a lot shorter right yeah uh-uh let me say I've never had them go so high that I have to stare and wait right. for it to go down. <laughs> I do that for Ian. <laughs> Got to pause for effect there. <laughs> kind of hit behind it, I think. So what's going to happen here is because it's really not designed to stop you from digging. Now yeah. it's just going to just plow into the ground Got type, it. type of thing. So your control is now gone. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I can feel that because I feel like each swing is just... It's different. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's the difference that a grind can have on, on a witch. Yeah. How interesting. I never knew that. So again, why, okay. why we don't... And that's okay. The average person walks into a store and says, I need a sandwich. Right. So that's why you... That's why I think Titleist back along the way started to do grinds in their wedges so that they didn't just go, I need a 56 degree wedge. Well, what's this, all this grind stuff mean? Yeah. That's kind of a reason they did that was to kind of help with, help the consumer a little bit so they can start to ask questions to the golf professional or someone in the shop. Yeah. Hopefully that person in the shop understands it enough to be able to explain it. Fair, right. So. I like it. Yeah, well not this one so much, but. <laughs> <laughs> I like the answer. <laughs> so, in conclusion, or wrapping up, we have two really good options. Yeah. Here at, at Windmill Golf Center, we have a short course. Mm -hmm. It's wedge haven out there. So, yeah. I mean, basically what I would tell you to do, the next step would be to go out on the golf course and just hit a couple different shots with yeah. both steel and graphite and see what you feel more comfortable with. Yeah. And then, then I would go with that. Go that's, that's how I'd make the final decision. Cool. All right. Thank you so much. That concludes this episode of WGC Fits. Thanks, Sam. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs>